who is uh, waiting for Primob of Indonesia to start their challenge on day two. Well, they are up next, Durgan. So you don't have to wait long. I know you're a conspiracy theorist, Clinton, but uh, it's simply because the clock on that far side, we have got all of the times. Every team is being timed, but the, the display clock, if you like, on that... Uh, on the side of that van or behind that van. We are trying to get operational at the moment, so just have a little bit of patience, Clinton. Start walking towards the load area. Yeah. Okay. Here are the Indonesians. So, Snazzy Sneakers, the Snazzy Sneakers team from Indonesia are off and running, literally. Gas masks on. There goes the first shot, so the assault team are able to fire that gas gun and then go for the breaching door. those targets with great accuracy. Look at those pumas go. Final target is dispatched on that Texas star. Remember, four plates each, four white discs, four white targets each for the four team members. It's a five team event this today. Last night was six team members for the hostage rescue, but the assault event is a five team, uh, a five member, I beg your pardon, uh, the, uh, number 13, competition. Ministry of Internal Affairs, female team, coming to the starting block. GIR, Ecuador National Police, follow behind. So, the Indonesian team deciding to go for a two-man carry for the deadweight dummies. We saw the Serbians, I think it was the sniper who was first across the line. He uh, was tasked with bringing the deadweight dummies himself. The finish line, Brimob of Indonesia.